Hey guys, it's Renee. So for this phone case DIY, I'm gonna start off with this clear phone case. Mine is an iPhone 6s, so it's quite like a dinosaur for today's standards, but it's okay. But I'm gonna be painting this in white using my wet acrylic paint and my brush. Feel free to use spray paint if you prefer. I just find this more relaxing or, you know, feel free to start with a white phone case to begin with. It's pretty much up to you. But yeah, covering the sides and for the front part, I'm going to be using like these mini balls. I have a video showing you where I got them from. Then I'm going to be working on the face using my yellow acrylic paint and this setting tool. Now, I'm not going to be super strict with the shape that I paint right now. It's going to change, but just as a reference. So first I'll go with my uh, dotting tool to mark where I want this to be and then I'm going with my brush completing the whole thing. Here as you can see I changed my mind as for the shape of the like the broken shield just to make it a bit less symmetric and I'm gonna let that dry. While that dries I'm gonna be using some of this round sticky labels but I'm actually gonna be working with these three leftover ones. First, painting them in white. Once they are getting dry, I'm going to be cleaning up the edges of like the acrylic paint that went all over the edges. Then I'm going to be taking some black acrylic paint and this nail polish is by Sally Hansen. But pretty much painting the cap and then just painting the eyes. I'm going to leave a like half moon of the white part visible and then painting the rest. And then again with my dotting tool to just clean the excess paint that went all over the edges. I do have the DIY for this dotting tool, by the way, if you want to check it out. I'm going to be gluing this. I do have the review for this super glue if you want to check it out. Adding a small drop in the middle and I wish I had added more glue towards the edges. At the end, I'm going to show you why. Then I'll add some details for the eyes with my two dotting tools. I do have the DIY for both. Adding two big dots on top and then two at the bottom. I'm going to be painting the beak. It's pretty much a triangle, so I'm going to be using my uh, orange acrylic paint. I can go with my small dotting tool to just mark where I want it to be, connect those dots with my detail brush, and then just fill it. And I suggest you to just start small and then just go from there based on the size of your phone case and all that stuff. Then I'm going to be using some yellow, pink, teal, purple, and white in my mixer, in my mixing thing. And I'm going to be making all these colors pastel ish or just easter by adding some white and this is kind of like the creative part of the easter egg pretty much up to you and your personal taste for me i didn't know what design i wanted to go for so i just first added some dots and i'm just sharing with you this just in case you like how it looks i mean it looks cute but but i wanted something else so i just changed my mind i grabbed one of these round sponges and before my dots fully dried i just removed them i went for the multicolor gradient effect where you place all the colors all over the place and you overlap them. Doing this with my brush, helping myself with the sponge, going back and forth with each color and I think it looks really cute. I actually prefer this design so much more than the dots and I prefer this so much more than the dots. Again, it's pretty much personal preference. Some people actually don't like this design. They find it overwhelming and they like cleaner designs but that's okay because this is where you choose your own style. I actually love it but that made a mess obviously and kind of like erased my uh, broken shield and I had to paint that again cleaning the edges of the like the broken shield first with my white and then going with my yellow. Now if I were to do this again I would just protect the face area by just creating with a piece of paper a cutout of like the broken shield shades place that on top of like the face or the yellow part. If you're going to be making this a sign just work over that if that makes sense um, because I ended up going a bunch of times with the white and the yellow to erase my gradient colors and in some parts if you pay close attention to it you can actually see that the yellow is, is lighter but I guess if you don't really pay close attention to it you won't be able to tell. And then I added a, a bit of gloss this is by Sculpey. Honestly I prefer to work with my spray gloss because you can see the like strokes of the brush but I just had this one. I ran out of my spray gloss. After the gloss though I was looking at this clips that you're watching right now and I liked it but I wanted to add some definition to it and so I just painted a thin line on the edges with my brush and my white paint other than another coat of gloss and I actually like it so much better like this because you can kind of tell more what it is like an easter egg kind of thing. 
I'm leaving both so you can see uh, the difference and which one you like the most. I really like it. I think it looks so cute. I like how colorful and fun this one is. This little guy is really fun to look at. If you have a name suggestion for this one, let me know. Again, if you pay close attention to all those details, you can see like the eyes and then just the gloss strokes. But I like it still. Something fun that I wanted to try for Easter and I really hope you like it too. If you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, check out more phone case ideas that I have done, and share this. Thank you so much for watching, I'll talk to you later, and take care. Bye!